Speculum, take a look, open up, wide, to receive. Go forth without fear, for we are all trapped in isotrophobia. Yes, there is another world within the mirror watching, always. Turn and face it. That icy subject of life and death demands recognition. There is something under, within the ice, locked in, icebound, buried, undead, attracted to you. As energy, you flicker like light in its dark abode. It seeks and finds. Those mirror walkers of old who travel via the point of reflection under the influence of the eye of the beholder. Other entities reach out like comets in the cold vastness of space-time. Consciousness is an episode of panspermia protruding into living reality. Solidifying possibilities, or what is commonly known as the multiverse, is in a constant state of flux, continually becoming unstable in its efforts to establish or express a thing. For a thing is a something in the everything of no thing. The human body is almost entirely comprised of water. Water is a medium. Like the water cycle, we transmute. Solid ice, liquid water, steaming misty gas. In our speechless wonder of the in-between states, we gain a deeper understanding beyond the language of a particular discourse or perspective. For to discourse is to run back and forth at length in different directions. While this is a very good exercise and on many levels essential practice, in time, the need for an exorcism from the symptoms of being caught up and possessed by organised hierarchy becomes tantamount. To become cleansed and free from any imperialism of knowledge, or the knowledge of imperialism. A paradigm shift in our understanding of all things from a one-size-fits-all networking of events to a multiversal holistic approach, open-minded. Speculum, look again. Penetrate the surface of that dimensional schism. Enter the circle, mentally intrude. Exit the baggage of the past life. It is but a shifting paradigm. Frozen moments of memory, action processed and absorbed. Passified intervention continues the flow, avoiding stagnation in its journey towards the ultimate that is evaporation. The astral plane awaits. Rebirth, born anew. Be ready for when the waters break.
is twilight in the underworld. The underworld is the subworld beneath the surface of the earth. Our vessel. The place we must go before we can transcend to a higher plane. Our subconscious has many counterparts that attack and defend. The adversary within becomes the adversary without. Ghosts in the darkness. The domain of the moon. Watch out. The battle can get out of hand. Confusion is the root of war. The power of consciousness is an active force of becoming. Becoming vigilant while falling asleep. Passive. The power of the subconscious is in the letting go of surrender. Letting the creative urge of the imagination become the receiver of dreams. The tree of life, with its many branches, favours transitional phases and seasonal changes. Its fruit thrives on its radical will to sustain creation's balance. Its interest lies in the interplay between internal and external processes that exist simultaneously and reflect one another, as above, so below. The unification of opposites. Spinal watchtowers await the rising sun. With their third eye speculative gaze, they observe and they seek out the cardinal points of the heart mass. Positive peak, protrusion without. Negative dip, intrusion within. By our solid nature, we are bipedal beings. The left and the right, the sinister and the dexter. By our liquid nature, we are bisexual beings, female and male, the in and the hang, the subject and the object. By our gaseous nature, we are bipolar beings, up and out, down and out, up and in, down and in, electromagnetic, everywhere and nowhere, beginning and end, a circle, a spiral. The hypnagogic terrain and the hypnopompic terrain meet at the gate. Becoming neutral in their sexual union, they open the portal of zero. The black hole of birth, rebirth. Death, redeath. The infinite singularity. Part and hold. Order and chaos. Cosmic and quantum. Micro and macro. The exoteric and the esoteric. Secrets revealed. Darkness illuminated. The experience of the Shining Ones corresponds to organ energy, that latent power in the thalamus, orchestrated by the synchronized oils of the pineal and pituitary glands. The slow build-up as of waves towards climax, excited, quickened, ecstatic in its trance. Tumefacient, anima, inanimate, awakened sleep, anointed, transcendental potential. The center of the Earth, of matter, is the superconscious center of the multiverse. It is the androgynous quantum state. The nuclear fire, the fall of man and woman, which seemingly cannot be tamed, is the story of alchemy. The transformation of base metals into gold. The wings of the phoenix rising from its ashes and cinders continues on its quest to prevent future cataclysms and catastrophe. Understanding the beast is the secret of the lion heart.
These are the hidden sayings that the living Jesus spoke. Whoever discovers the meaning of these sayings will not taste death. Our lives are but psychomantiums, rooms and halls of mirrors, reflections on water. Making contact with the unknown on the other side, losing and gaining gnosis. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, just passed on, relayed, 